I've been intermittent fasting for almost four years and in that time I mostly eat one meal a day. And here's the thing that might surprise you. I don't restrict foods for that one meal a day. However, since I'm four years into this journey, I am trying to do better, refine. I've seen so many health improvements, weight loss, and overall feeling better with this lifestyle, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop there. One of my goals for this year is to not only enjoy my eating window, but add things that I need. I heard the mantra, eat what you want, add what you need, and that is something I'm really trying to embrace this year, and this new challenge is gonna support that. I share with you on a regular basis what I eat, and it really ranges in food quality, quantity, and types of food. I really just like food, but I'm embarking on a new challenge. I'm not gonna restrict, but I am gonna add to my meals. I'm gonna ensure that I'm getting enough protein every single day. That is something that people have commented on. And honestly, I do notice that I feel better when I have more protein in my eating window, but it's never something that I've been super intentional about. I am setting a challenge for myself for the next 30 days to eat at least 50 grams of protein, not including my actual sit down meal. So that's going to be the snack that I open my eating window with or what I finish my eating window with is going to have 50 grams of protein. And that doesn't include the meat, the cheese, the beans, whatever is in the actual entree of the meal. And I'm really excited. So I'm about to head into Aldi. I'm going to get some of my favorite proteins and I'm going to share with you my favorite protein sources that I'll be doing to open and close my eating window and ensure that I get 50 grams of protein. Now this 30 day challenge I will be sharing results so if you're watching this at a point when that's done I will have it linked in the pinned comment. I weigh roughly 150 pounds give or take on any given day and that means I should have about 50 grams of protein a day as a woman. So I'm doing that it's very simple very round number and anything that I have in my entree you know if we have steak fajitas, the steak, the cheese, the sour cream is going to just be an addition to that. So this is opening, closing my window, making sure I have enough protein without including my entree. I think it's going to be a fun challenge and I'm going to share with you all of my favorite protein snacks that I will be using for this challenge. Before we get to the protein options, I want to share with you that this video is sponsored by Element. Element is my favorite electrolyte brand. I drink them on a near daily basis and I started almost two years ago. And it definitely fits within the eat what I want, add what I need. I need electrolytes. When I do longer fast, before I added electrolytes to my routine, I would suffer from sore legs. And suffering isn't something that I want. So adding electrolytes has really helped. I don't get the sore legs anymore because the 1000 milligrams sodium, 200 milligrams potassium, and 60 milligrams magnesium help me to stay hydrated, help me to stay fueled and feeling good even on the longer fast. And the awesome thing is they taste amazing. This is a recent shipment I just got and it has all my favorite flavors. Chocolate caramel, I like those in the hot drinks. But for spring and summer coming up, I love the watermelon, the mango chili, and grapefruit. These are so good mixed with sparkling water and it's like a mocktail. They're delicious. And I do drink all of these in my eating window, but they do have a raw element that I like to have in my fasting window. Right now, Element's offering my listeners a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serve packets free with any Element order. It's the perfect way to try all eight flavors or to share Element with a salty friend. You can get yours by going to drinkelement.com slash fasting foodie. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash fasting foodie. Thank you so much to Element for sponsoring this video. They are the perfect example of eat what I want, add what I need. Now I'm going to get into Aldi and not only get these protein pack snacks, but they're things that I really love. So I'm getting what I need, the protein, but I'm eating what I want, delicious foods. I'm going to go get them and then I'll share them with you. Okay, I just got in from Aldi. Let's share with you some of these goodies. My number one favorite, and if it weren't so expensive, I'd probably do this every day. This is the thinly sized steak chili lime flavor. In this entire packet, you get 32 grams of protein. I can eat this very happily. I enjoy it. It's a lot of protein and it knocks out over 60% of that 50 grams. So good. Cheese sticks, seven grams of protein. I did look at all the cheese sticks and pick the one with the highest gram because I'm not a cheese discriminator. I like cheese and I get seven grams of protein in a single stick of this. So simple, easy to add on. What more can I say? This actually takes me back to my childhood. I love garbanzo beans straight from the can. Rinse them out, eat them. I like them much more in the soft version than air fried with seasonings. You can even sprinkle seasonings on them when they're raw, but they're super pleasant to eat. I love them. And a half cup of these is six grams of protein. My mom used to joke that when she would open these to put like in a pasta salad, we would eat half the can. So she'd have to open more cans than necessary because me, my siblings, and my mom would all snack on these. They're so good. 
This is a personal favorite. I love all these chicken salad. I love chicken salad, period. And it's really nice to have as a snack, not a meal, because no one in my family will eat this. And these individual portions are seven grams of protein, period. And another thing that I want to do is actually make my own chicken salad. So I can get seven grams of this, but I am going to learn to make a really delicious Greek yogurt mixed with chicken salad. I haven't come up with the recipe, but that's going to be part of my experimenting. And I'll share that with you in the results video. But this is going to be an easy grab and go. So yummy. Seven grams of protein. Speaking of using Greek yogurt, I love whole milk Greek yogurt. Now, I will be honest, sugary versions are my favorite. But if I'm trying to use this in recipes with protein powder to make the chicken salad, I'm getting unflavored. It's going to be a great base. And three quarters cups of this is 15 grams of protein. So it's going to be a great addition. I can add PB2 powder. I can add protein powder. I can add it to chicken with a lot of seasonings. And I can do a lot with this. 15 grams and three quarters cup. So good. I can have this on hand for lots of uses. And before we bridge to the next item, I'm going to share with you that I do get full fat or whole milk versions because I really like the creaminess. I would rather have the calories and the creaminess than save calories and get low fat because that's what I prefer. So I'm eating what I like, the really creamy versions, but I'm adding what I need, the protein. I'm really happy with that. You could do it low fat if you want to save on calories. I don't really count calories and I don't consider that, but I know I'm much more likely to enjoy this and reach for this when it's the creamy, delicious, decadent version. And speaking of, yes, I get the 4% cottage cheese. I love cottage cheese of many varieties, large curd, small curd, but I really like the creamy whole fat, whole milk version. And when I have a half cup of this, which I never have just a half cup, it's 13 grams of protein. I like to top this with other protein favorites like pepitas, pistachios, and I'm gonna share more of those because I have them at home with you right now. Another thing that I can do is add things like pepitas and sunflower seeds. They have about six or seven grams of protein per quarter cup and then different cheeses to salads. And that can be another great protein option, even adding cottage cheese. So these will be in my arsenal. These are my literal favorite, the wonderful pistachio salt and pepper. Half cup of these with the shell is six grams of protein. So easy to eat that many. And it's such a great combination with things like cottage cheese. Absolutely love these. Again, I buy the three pound bag from Costco. Salt and pepper is my personal favorite. Definitely a great protein snack. I love swaggerty sausage. I love fried eggs, but between having a single sausage and a single egg, I get a total of 15 grams of protein. So if I did two sausages and two eggs, that's 30 grams of protein. It would be a great way to open my eating window before having my actual entree. And I absolutely love it. Now protein bars are not my favorite thing. They would be an easy grab and go, but it's just not my favorite food. So I did not include them in this list. One thing is protein shakes and protein powder. I'm gonna use these in a variety of ways. I Aldi has chocolate and vanilla on a regular basis for protein powder, but they recently had an oatmeal cookie, and now that is a flavor profile that I like. I bought three containers knowing that I was going to be doing this challenge coming up, and I have made them with like an iced coffee. I have made it mixed with some sugar-free pudding and some whipped cream. I'm kind of experimenting, and I will share more of that experimenting with you, but I will definitely be incorporating my oatmeal raisin scoop of protein powder. You get 30 grams of protein. Lots that you can do with it, especially when you have things like the yogurt, or you can make smoothies, you can make smoothie bowls, you can make um, iced coffee with it. So many different ways you can use it. And also another recent thing, and I'm actually really excited about this one, is I saw the Premier Protein Birthday Cake Shakes mixed with different diet sodas make a dirty pop, which I really like pop. I like dirty sodas. I've been enjoying trying out that trend. So when I have the Birthday Cake Premier protein shake that's 30 grams of protein and I can mix it with a diet beverage or I could split it between two days and have 15 easy grams of protein and change the flavor. So that is definitely something that I'm going to be experimenting with and incorporating as part of my 50 grams on a daily basis. Now all of these I will not use every single day but it's fun to experiment and find different ways to do it. Having enough protein in my diet, I have noticed that I have less sugar cravings, I snack less, and I feel more satisfied long-term. And that's one reason that I'm incorporating it. I know it's good for me, 
and I know that all of my meals probably don't hit my daily protein needs. So, so I'm finding the balance between eating the foods that I want and adding things that I need. I never strive for perfection, but I also don't think there's anything wrong with trying to up your game and do better. So I've been doing this for four years. I am really good at fasting. I didn't try doing a protein challenge while learning to fast, and I don't at all suggest that you do. Get really good at fasting and then see what other habits can you incorporate. Adding electrolytes, adding vitamins, getting your daily walk-in, upping your protein intake, adding exercise routine. There's so many ways that you can build upon a fasting regimen and that's what I'm here to do. I am four years into this. I found so much success and I want more and I want the same for you too.